going to try and share my try and share my screen with you all. Um, can you all see my screen here? Hopefully, a thumbs up from you, Darcy. I think you're the only face I can see right now. Wonderful. So I want to take just a couple of minutes to talk a little bit about Team Genius and our recent partnership with Hockey Alberta to be the uh, preferred evaluation software uh, provider. Now, I know uh, we're all excited to get back out on the ice. Uh, well, I never grew up playing, as you can tell from the accent, but I know everyone else is excited to grow up and get back out on the ice. But uh, this time of year can also bring a lot of stress. So for many of you, the thought of evaluations or tryouts might make you feel a little bit like Homer here. It's that time of the year where we've got to make sure we're getting our team placements done. So quite often we're quite stressed in terms of wondering, is our current process fair? Uh, particularly when parents may question those at a later time. And we also have to worry about things like, are we able to bring in our player data from the registration systems that we use, of which there are so many out there? We then have to start thinking about, are we getting players checked in? Are we assigning their penny numbers? And that's even before we get to the stage of, have we set up our evaluators for success? And for some of you, you'll be relying on volunteers. Maybe you ha might have the odd paid coach that helps with the process, or you might outsource this and hire from outside to help with your evaluations. Either way, quite often, like I said, you're feeling like Homer here. And then it comes to the point of, right, well, we, we're now starting to gather the data. And for many of us, where maybe math isn't our strongest point, that point um, it, it's again, stressful, worrisome. Uh, many of you are gonna receive stacks of paper. You gotta then maybe plug it into a spreadsheet. If you're using spreadsheets, maybe you've got some fancy algorithms in place which help you calculate your rankings results and ensures that little Johnny is top of the pile and are better than a little Stevie there and hopefully help with your team placements. Now, some of the problems that come with relying on spreadsheets is we may not have created the algorithms or the spreadsheets ourselves. That person may even have left the organization and we're kind of hoping we can figure it out or we're really reliant on that person to stay around for as long as possible. And then we come to the actual part of that with the data, inputting it into a spreadsheet, it's quite often slow. It's quite often error pro. And we're sometimes wondering like, couldn't an intern be doing this instead? Like maybe we've got better things that we'd like to do. Now, when we look at the data, um, it's probably not as fancy an algorithm as what Homer, Homer is looking at here. We've got to ensure that, are we satisfied with the data? Because quite often um, every parent wants to know like, was the process fair? Some may even question that team placement process. And um, every kid's got the latest Wayne Gretzky in amongst, or sorry, every family has every, uh, the latest Wayne Gretzky amongst their ranks. And uh, not always happy with some of the decisions that have been made by associations. So are you able to stand sometimes behind your system and say, yes, we've made the right decision and we can justify it with the data that we have. And then when it's all said and done, that stressful few weeks of running those many sessions. Some of you might be feeling like Homer here and going, was all this worth it? It's a lot of time. It's a lot of stress. There's a lot of worry. And at the end of the day, you're all going to turn around and say, of course, it was worth it. We do it for our kids. We love being involved in sport and helping, helping them get to the next stage of their de uh, development and just with how important sports are in our lives. That said, I'd be lying if I didn't think there was a better way. And at Team Genius, we think there is a better way. So I'd like to think we can get you all like Homer here, doing cartwheels, spinning, yelling wahoo. Because at Team Genius, we try and make your process more efficient uh, by providing a digital evaluation system to help you. The goal of Team Genius is to speed up the data collection process. So we have a mobile app available on both Apple and Android devices, where the idea is you create custom assessments based on the criteria that's important to your program. You evaluate your players against others in that same player pool, that same age group, and across many sessions. Once all the weightings are factored in from those sessions to the evaluator that you're using, those results are generated immediately because every time a score is changed or a comment is added, that data reports to the cloud. We help form your rankings, which then saves that time so you can go in and compare players and then hopefully make more rounded team placement decisions. Because a ranking of players, which maybe says this player is slightly better than others, doesn't always show that full context as to why is player A better than player B? Or what kind of player should we be looking for and what characteristics do they have when we're rounding out our teams? Now, a couple of other ways that Team Genius can help is we can help you communicate your results out afterwards. Maybe share that, hey, Chris, you've been placed on the B team. 
This is the player code of conduct. This is the parent code of conduct and some useful resources uh, to help you get off to a good start to the season, as well as starting to share those schedules. And then latterly, as part of something we saw with the post-COVID, well, sorry, during COVID and still today, a lot of organizations are adopting sharing feedback reports at the end of the season. So it's becoming more and more common to do an end of season evaluation, provide constructive feedback, share that with the player and parent, which in turn might help promote some of your other programs, like those technical skills camps that maybe you run in the off season. Now, just to round out this, because I know we've got some great, uh, great other partners to hear from here shortly. On average, we save around 40 hours at tryouts. Some of that time is saved from importing players when we uh, have those direct integrations with the team snaps, the sports engine league apps of the world. So if you are using systems like Goal Line and Ramp, we have very straightforward processes to bring in CSV files into Team Genius from there. We also work with many, many organizations already in Alberta. Um, as you can see from uh, Corey Oten's uh, testimonial on the right hand side, they've been using Team Genius for a number of years, uh, saved them a lot of time, and they highly recommend us. I believe we may have Brad Hunker on the call as well. Um, Brad's with at Sherwood Park, uh, has been a big supporter of Team Genius for a number of years. And if you saw the really recent the press release uh, that we did in conjunction with Hockey Alberta, Brad said, uh, shared some very kind words as well. Now, like I said, you've got some great partners to hear from um, going forward. If you'd like to learn more, please take a look at teamgenius.com. We do also offer a 30 day trial. I do understand that many of you already have your systems in place for this year's tryouts. But as you go through those, please reflect on, was that the best method? Would it be worth exploring another solution? Because we'd love to talk a little bit more about how we can help you throughout the year and also maybe set you up for greater success in your future evaluations uh, to come. Please email me at that, uh, but do reach out to us and uh, I hope uh, th this has been useful. Thank you again. And yeah, and if there's any questions, please uh, go through the right mediums. <laughs> My guess. I'll kick it back to you, Darcy. Thanks. Great. Was there any qu questions right now for Chris that you guys have? No? Okay. So we're on to Ryan Burden of the CEO of Shooter Tutor Inc., please. Hey, everybody. Um, <clears throat> I know, I think I see Shauna on here. She's the president of our. Uh, St. Albert Minor Hockey. So, hey, Shauna, and uh, hey, everybody else. Um, so, yeah, I, uh, I'm the, the the owner, the CEO of Shooter Tutor. Um, I don't have another screen to show you, but I think probably most of us, most of you guys are uh, familiar with what a Shooter Tutor is. Um, it's uh, become kind of the, uh, the common name for any sort of TARP or target practice uh, device that you put over the, the net. Uh, a goalie net, um, but um, what makes us unique is we were the original shooter tutor company. Uh, the uh, product was invented and developed uh, by uh, my dad in the mid eighties. Um, and at that time uh, endorsed by Wayne Gretzky and a couple of the other Oilers. Um, I was around 15 at the time and I guess I couldn't score goals. So he was trying to help me uh, Put the puck in the net so uh he developed it um yeah, tested it uh outside uh when it was minus 30 outside and we, we uh shot pucks at that thing all winter and, and came up with the right uh, material and um <clears throat> and it's been the kind of the uh, the forefront type of shooter tutor uh ever since uh, there's been lots of knockoffs um you see them at Canadian Tire, at Costco, uh, at some of the other sports shops. And um, it's uh, people have taken the idea and kind of ran with it. Uh, they've come up with different designs and different shapes and lots of different materials, but there's really nothing that um, that compares to the original shooter tutor just because of the materials that we use. Uh, they're durable, uh, they last in any sort of conditions. Um, I've had guys come back uh, with shooter tutors uh, 20 years later, they've been sitting outside um, for 20 years and, uh, you know, they need new bungee cords or new straps and that's it. So um, the Shooter Tutor is uh, definitely, it takes a beating. Uh, it'll last, it holds up. Um, it's, uh, like I said, it's it's really a one of a kind 
And that <clears throat> leads me to kind of the next point is it's, you know, it's a little pricier than the Shooter Tutor you can buy a Canadian tire. Um, but they're, <clears throat> they're made right here in Alberta. So we don't, we don't uh, go overseas or go to China or Mexico or anywhere else to get them done uh, cheaper. Uh, we make them right here at Edmonton still. Uh, every Shooter Tutor is, um, is sewn by hand essentially uh, with an industrial sewing machine. They're all assembled, all the grommets, everything is all assembled by hand. Uh, they're put together right here in Edmonton. Uh, so it's an Alberta made product. Uh, we like to, uh, we really, we're really proud of the fact that we make them here in Alberta, right here in Canada. We sell them all over the world. Um, and as of about five years ago, we started getting into custom shooter tutors. Um, so um, you can go onto our website at uh, shootertutor.ca and see some of the custom shooter tutors and see our regular shooter tutors on there. But so we, uh, we came up with a butterfly style shooter tutor a few years ago, and that's kind of been our number one seller now because uh, it really mimics the way goaltenders play now. Um, so that's become our biggest, our biggest seller. And then we, now we've come up with, with custom graphics. So we did, uh, we did custom shooter tutors. We did, I think 18 of them for hockey, Alberta. And, um, their, the goaltender is, um, you know, wearing the, the blue and white and yellow, uh, colors of hockey, Alberta. And we've got the hockey, Alberta right on the logo of the goalie. Uh, we did custom shooter tutors for the Sylvan Lake minor hockey. Uh, they were able to get a couple sponsors uh, to help pay for the shooter tutors. So that's certainly uh, another way um, to go when uh, looking at, uh, at paying for them. Um, we've done, I know there's uh, Power Edge Pros coming up later. We did, uh, we've done custom shooter tutors for Power Edge Pro uh, and uh, supplied them to their, their trainers uh, in the States and across Canada. Um, so there's lots of opportunities. Um, you either go with regular, a regular shooter tutor, um, which isn't custom, which would be a little more economical, or we can uh, we can go custom. The uh, the way that we're working it with uh, with Hockey Alberta is uh, any any minor hockey association or arena facility that orders four or more of the shooter tutor twos. That's the butterfly style. Uh, we'll get ten percent off. Um, and then, um, then there's part of that goes to Hockey Alberta. Um, and then if, uh, what was the other part of it? I think, uh, yeah, the custom part. So if you want custom, uh, it's an additional, just $125 uh, extra to pay for the custom graphics and uh, the, the customization of the graphics on there. So um, it's, a, it's a pretty good deal, especially like I said, when you order four more, 10% uh, off. Um, you can go to our website, uh, order them on the website, uh, uh, punch in promo code hockey AB, and uh, you'll receive the discount. And if you want custom, uh, you can just type a message, those emails, that stuff comes directly to me. And then we can just talk privately or uh, over email, figure out exactly what you want, provide you proof and, uh, and get them made up for you. So I look forward to working with Hockey Alberta with this and the minor hockey associations. Um, it's a benefit for everybody. Um, the shooter tutors are great when, when there's no goalie or if you've got more than um, more than two nets set up on the ice or if, only you, if the team only has one goalie, you can set up the shooter tutor in the other net. Um, we've seen great improvement uh, in the player shooting. Uh, I've got guys using it from four years old all the way up into uh, into WHL. So. Um, Hopefully that uh, spells it out for you. You can check us out at shootertutor.ca. And thank you very much for your time. Thanks, Darcy. Thanks, Ryan. Actually, Courtney just has that graphic. Do you want her to pop it up quick for you? Yeah, that'd be perfect. Okay. There we so go. This is the graphic. You can see that there is custom, like Sylvan Lake Minor Hockey has a custom one. And I believe that is um, also, do you have their sponsorship on there as well? Right. So on the Sylvan Lake, you can um, on the Sylvan Lake one, the bottom left, you can see kind of above the goalie's shoulders there. It says Grand Central Stitching. Right. So I believe that's you know a local company there in Sylvan Lake that does their you know jerseys and apparel. 
Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, that was a that was a great opportunity for them to to use a local sponsor there to help them. Uh, you can see the hockey Alberta shooter tutors we did there, and then in the top left, that's kind of our our regular graphic that's on our our typical shooter tutors. Okay, awesome. And like you said, the promo code to punch in is Hawk Gilbert with capital H and capital A B, right? You got her. Okay. Yep. Thanks, Tars. Awesome. Thanks, Ryan. Okay. Uh, Lonnie is up now with he's the VP of operations for Tracks Best Lines. Good evening, everyone. Um, I just want to make sure you can see that. I think it's up now. <laughs> um, so I'm Lonnie Bartell. I'm the VP of operations for Tracks Coach Lines. Um, we're uh, an Al- Alberta-based company. We uh, originated out of Medicine Hat, Alberta. Um, our ownership is uh, a sole owner, Bill Ewell, uh, who owns a Monarch Corporation. Um, and uh, a bunch of other uh, other companies as well, but Trax is definitely the the largest uh, brand that uh, Mr. Yule owns. Um, now we have facilities in Medicine Hat, Lethbridge, Edmonton, Calgary, and uh, into BC, into Kamloops, Kelowna, uh, Vancouver, and Everett, Washington, uh, in the U.S. Um, so. I, I put a, put together a little presentation to kind of give you a, a rundown of uh, what we do. We're a motor coach company, uh, very large scale company. We have over 200 motor coaches in Western Canada. Uh, about 70 of them are in Alberta. Uh, our, our product is all premium brand coaches, leather seats, three point seat belts. Um, the oldest bus you would ride on that we own is a 2013. All of them are Prevo H3, H345 buses. So I'll just go through the presentation, uh, kind of go through our a little bit of our customer base. Um, as you'll see in the presentation, we uh, specialize in sports travel. Um, that's a, a big uh, a big thing for tracks as we our ownership owns the Everett uh, Silver Tips in uh, WHL. So we've really focused on uh, a lot of hockey transportation. So uh, I'll get this going here. So we we haul from U7 to the NHL. Um, doesn't matter the level of hockey. Tracks is, we want to be your number one choice for sure. Uh, we're the official transportation provider for the National Hockey League in Western Canada. Um, as well as uh, we did the, we we're the sole transportation provider for the 2020 playoffs, the NHL bubble in Edmonton. Um, They chose us for the preferred of our professionalism and uh, exemplary uh, customer service. Uh, We can also give endorsements or um, references if uh, anyone need, if anyone would like or or needs. Um, And then obviously our bus uh, with the Tampa Bay Lightning, they put the Stanley Cup right in the front seat, kind of really cool. (laughs) Um, we, we're large supporter of the WHL. Um, we, we haul the Edmonton Oil Kings, the Medicine Hat Tigers, Lethbridge Hurricanes, the Everett Silver Tips, and the Vancouver Giants. Um, as, as I was saying, uh, Mr. Yule owns Everett Silver Tips. This is actually our first year hauling them as we just launched our Tracks America company. So now we're, now we can actually haul in the U.S. So it's pretty exciting for us to, to be a part of that. We've been with the Edmonton Oil Kings for the last seven years. The Medicine Hat Tigers, we've been with uh, them for over 20 years. Lethbridge Hurricanes, we started hauling three years ago. And the Vancouver Giants, we've been with them for uh, about 12 years as well. We also uh, support a lot of the major club hockey in, uh, in, in, in the South and the North. Uh, we work with the Maple Leaf Athletic Club Southside South Side Athletic Club, um, the Pack Saints out of Spruce Grove in Parkland County, uh, the Calgary Buffalo Hockey Association, the Knights of Columbus in Edmonton. We just signed uh, the Canadian Athletic Club here in Edmonton as well for this year. It'll be their uh, a new 
a new client. So we're, we're excited about that. Uh, we work with Northeast Calgary, um, the NC, NCW, AA, and uh, SEAC, the Southeast uh, Athletic Club out of Medicine Hat. And uh, we have a joint partnership with another bus company um, with the Sherb Park Kings uh, Athletic Club as well. Um, there's a lot, lot more clubs that we do work with. We share a lot of uh, contracts in the South, especially with other bus companies. Um, but uh, here in North, in, in Edmonton and stuff, we've, uh, we like to definitely work with most of the clubs, if not all of them, as well in Calgary and uh, Medicine Hat and Lethbridge. Um, and to go back to that, we also do uh, off, we just don't uh, sign the clubs to transport them. We actually, we offer sponsorships to all the clubs as well, as it's important to, I think, share a little bit of uh, the monies and give back to the, to the clientele that gives to us. So uh, we think it's very important. Uh, we are a major supporter of the AJHL and uh, some junior A tier two hockey. Uh, including the uh, Sher Park Crusaders, Brooks Bandits, Drumheller Dragons, Calgary Canucks, and uh, this year we just uh, signed the Okotoks Oilers. Um, so that's uh, that's going to be a that's the largest amount of AJHL teams we've had, and we're pretty excited to be uh, working with them. We do brand uh, a lot of the Junior A teams uh, with their branding on the back of the bus. But as you can see in the front where the Calgary Canucks uh, logo is, you can put your team name there. It's actually, we have brackets in there that you can put your uh, logos in so they can, they can go in and be removed without, it uh, takes about 10 seconds to put in. So they're actually really, really slick. Um, tracks does, all, we do haul a lot of university and college uh, hockey, as well as all the other sports. We work with Grant McEwen University, University of Alberta, Nate, Mount Royal University, and uh, the University of Lethbridge and Lethbridge College. Um, I could be missing a few, but uh, I kind of, I put this together really quickly so I could just show everyone. Uh, we've been, uh, the main transportation hauling our transportation company for the double IHF and hockey Canada for the last three years. Uh, we did the uh, world juniors in Vancouver and Victoria. We did the world under 17th hockey challenge in medicine hat, uh, in 2000, uh, 2019, as well as the world junior championship in Edmonton last year. And again, this year in Edmonton and red deer, and we're just finishing up the Women's World Championship in Calgary uh, right now. A lot of our drivers uh, are very passionate about hockey. Um, if, you, if you're looking for a driver, you'll find them in the stands. It's, uh, it's important that uh, our drivers, they really like to become part of the teams and the clubs that they're hauling. Um, you don't get mixed around with drivers when you work with us. Um, you get, it depends on the size of the club or the team, but you'll get assigned two to three drivers. And they actually, those are your drivers for the season. Um, it works really well because then the teams and the clubs, they work directly with the drivers. So then there's not that, the, there's no mistakes when it comes to dispatch getting involved or vice presidents like myself or salespeople, um, you, you have your driver and uh, the driver's with you for the season. Um, as well as you, you'll be assigned a sales rep and that sales rep is your direct contact. You don't have to deal with dispatch. You don't have to deal with any of those other things that similar bus companies use. You, you go through four or five different phone numbers before you can get a hold of someone, but, uh, not with tracks. Uh, when it comes to the team transportation, um, there, there's a reason we, we work with the, the National Hockey League, the WHL, a lot of the major clubs throughout Alberta is what we say we do. We don't, uh, we're not, 
we don't uh, promise you something and under under deliver what we sell you you get and uh, I think it's uh, it was well needed in the transportation industry uh, especially in in hockey transportation because it because it is the largest transportation in Canada of any sport so it uh, we definitely stand to the word of what we sell and uh, that's that's about it and then obviously there's Steven Stamkos and Victor Hedman from the 2020 playoffs with one of our drivers <laughs> but uh, if if you do need to reach me I uh, I'll put my uh, email in the chat and uh, please feel free to reach out to me for quotes um, or or anything like that I'm gladly there to help and uh, I will I will start off the conversation and then I'll assign you guys a, a, a sales rep. Thank you. Thanks, Lonnie. That's great. Okay, I think Todd is up next with sales for, and he's the salesman for the coach meet boards. Okay, thanks everyone. I'm, uh, I'm gonna try to share my screen. Uh, let me know if, if you can see it or can't see it. Should be able to see it now. Uh, yeah, Coachmate Boards. Um, you know, we've uh, we've sort of been the preeminent supplier, uh, much like Trax is with the movement of people, uh, much like Shooter Tutor is with uh, with shooting targets. Uh, we're sort of the name brand that people know with respect to uh, on ice uh, boards. Uh, we've been around since 1988. The epiphany, uh, much like uh, Ryan told us with the Shooter Tutor. Uh, evolution he came when my father realized he could not only just get not through to me but to, to other people on our team so he always used a chalkboard out on the ice and then with the advent of dry erasable products uh, we then morphed into a, a dry erasable product um, Dave King was our first uh, customer he was back with the University of Saskatchewan uh, back in the 80s and then he brought us to Hockey Canada when the Olympics were, were on here in Calgary. Uh, Roger Nielsen was also an early adopter. Both of those uh, coaches, I think, could be described as educators uh, as much as they were uh, coaches. And they just felt that this tool was what was helping convey the, uh, the education to their players. We are Calgary-based. We are Calgary-based now. Uh, we're a family-owned business. And so as our, uh, our families uh, grew, um, and moved, uh, so did uh, our production facility at Coachmate. Now it's it's based here in, in, in Calgary. So uh, for uh, those Alberta-based uh, associations of teams, um, we can get your orders relatively quick and uh, get them get them shipped out to you relatively quick. Coachmate was was really an evolutionary process, and as I said, we we uh, it, the concept was chalkboard moved into dry erasable. Uh, and now we're a fully customizable uh, sublimation uh, uh, process. And so you might be familiar with sublimation from uh, getting your, uh, your uniforms and your jerseys and whatnot. So anything that you can dream up, uh, if we can convert it to, to some art, uh, we can then put it on our, on our board. Um, the other thing uh, that I wanted to just mention about our history is, is we started in hockey. Hockey is the language that we that we spoke back then. It's the language that we still speak today. It's by and large, the largest portion uh, of product sales is hockey, but we have uh, morphed into doing boards for uh, rugby, which is uh, uh, another uh, pastime of mine and, and the sport that's close to my heart. Uh, baseball, basketball, uh, essentially any, any sport that, that's out there. And, and um, you know, lastly, uh, as you can see, the uh, the Canadians, this is a couple coaches ago, but, uh, you know, we've been a coaching essential uh, to uh, both at the professional ranks uh, and at the amateur ranks for, for some time now. So uh, just a little bit of quick history. Why a board? You know, I mentioned it earlier. Um, hockey now is, is, is less instruction, more education. Um, you know, it's easier for somebody to understand the drill uh, when they first see it, when they first can follow it, what the coach is saying. Uh, the other reason for, for a board, and I'm a coach myself, is it's a great meeting place uh, for the team to either just take a, take a water break, 
uh, and uh, get their head back from, from one drill to the another. Uh, and what we found, whether you're a first time coach or a seasoned coach, um, the board can be used uh, efficiently and effectively. If you're a first time coach, uh, it really allows you to detail uh, the sim and, and simplify the drill. If you're a seasoned coach, it allows you to talk about progression uh, and, and show what the next steps of the drill are. And as we know, uh, the price of ice uh, is only going in one direction. So uh, having a board out on the ice allows a lot more efficient use uh, and effective use uh, of your ice time. Now I wanna point out this, um, this board down here isn't representative of our quality. It's more representative of our loyalty uh, from our users. Uh, I saw this picture, I think on Instagram or something, wrote to the gentleman who had it. He had had it for 12 years, still used it every practice. And I said, well, we can't have that. Uh, so I sent, him a, I sent him a new one. So, and we have had a lot of coaches that uh, have used the coach made board, um, you know, from following their player in Timbits all the way up to uh, when their players graduated out of minor hockey. Um, and, and, and so we certainly have a lot of brand loyalty, brand following. Um, so that's why a board, but, but why coach me? And, you know, I guess essentially um, boards is what we do. I mean, we, we don't do whistles. We don't do pylons. Uh, this isn't an accessory to another product line. This is what we do. And so we, we spend a lot of time focusing on uh, our product, improving our product. And the picture that you see on the right uh, shows just something that we've just come up with this year. And this is a silicone wrap uh, around the edges. Um, those of you that might've had our boards in the past know that uh, you know if you throw them into, the, uh, into your hockey bag and carry them out of the rink or uh, you drop one uh, on the floor that it, it does scuff, it does dent. And um, you know, quality was, was something that we really were we're, uh, have spent a lot of time uh, and investment working on. And we know that this, this silicone wrap that currently is just for our clipboard size uh, is something that's going to dramatically improve uh, the quality and, and usefulness and the durability of our product. And we will be moving, uh, hopefully, by the end of the season, uh, if not prior to that, to have that wrap on our, on our Coachmate board as well. Um, but we are fully customizable. Um, we do have some standard sizes. There's no doubt about that. And, and um, you know, but because we're a print, then heat press process, as I said before, if you could dream it up and we can convert it to Illustrator or some other vectorized format uh, and we can print it, we can put it on a board. Um, we've, uh, we do lineup boards. Uh, we do... Uh, in dressing room boards that uh, that have uh, different shapes and sizes on it. We do uh, boards that have multi rinks uh, on them. We do that for some hockey schools so they can diagram the next three, four, five drills uh, all at one time. So we are truly customizable. And one of the things that we're good at is is we listen uh, to our customers. You know, and that sort of brought about some of the step change that brought us from a silk screen process then into something that's a bit more uh, uh, multi-color, uh, multi-sport um, and, and fully customizable the sublimation process. Uh, we've worked on quality, as I mentioned, and, and listening to our customers, that's what brought about the, the silicone wrap. Uh, so you tell us what you want and um, we will do our darndest uh, to make it happen. Uh, our product lineup, uh, as I said, uh, you know, I would direct you to our website, uh, www.coachmate.com, if you really want to get a, a good view on on our products. But here's just a snapshot, and yeah, I got I got a I got to plug the hometown heroes, at least in in our area, the Calgary Flames. So this is an order that they that they did uh, last year, where you can see our flagship Coachmate board with the suction cups on it. So that's a 24 by 15 on ice board. Um, the suction cups uh, are essential and important uh, design feature of this board. Uh, it's our own mold. It's our own design. It's not uh, uh, an offshore uh, cup uh, that's also used to do a multitude of other things. It's, it's 
we own that design uh, and that manufacturing process. So uh, we also do uh, the double-sided clipboard that I show at the back here. It's just showing uh, both sides uh, of it, but it is one 10 by 16 board on the front. It's got a full rink. On the back, it's got the, uh, the half rink. Um, we do do a dressing room board and we do, as I said, all shapes and, 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 and orientations here. And so you can see some, some work we've done with the Halifax moose heads out of the queue uh, out east uh, where they wanted something different uh, and they, for both their assistant coaching offices and, and for their dressing room. So we, uh, we happen to do that, but we do a standard 36 by 24 uh, dressing room board uh, that hangs in some of our local rinks here in, uh, in Okotoks and, and, and other local rinks are, um, around North America. Uh, we got into, uh, and, and, and we heard from our clients that they, they needed a bag to carry the board in. And so this isn't a product that we manufacture. This is a product that we bring in from, from offshore. And so we do have supply chain issues. Um, but it is one that, uh, that's been uh, quite positively received. And so this is just simply a nylon bag uh, with a wide opening mouth. And inside is an internal pocket where you can fit your, your coach, uh, your coach make clipboard. Uh, and the wide mouth, you can fit your, um, uh, your coach make board. Uh, earlier this year, we were working with Gitch Sportswear, uh, not necessarily to, uh, to plug Gitch, but they wanted to do both a, a coaching bag that would fit our board, and then they wanted to do a puck carry bag that would uh, that would fit our our clipboard. So, if any of those products are in, uh, of interest to you, feel free to uh, reach out to uh, Gitch Gitch themselves. Uh, and our last product is uh, sort of a carryover product that uh, um, you know it, it it it's not really used that uh, that often uh, on the bench, but we do still. Uh, sell a number of them. It's it's a bench boss. It's more a pocket card, so two and a half inch by five inch uh, laminated card um, where a coach could use it to make notes uh, and then uh, have part of the chalk talk discussion uh, between periods. As I said, it's not dry erasable, so you really have to work to get the um, uh, to get the ink off of it. It's not going to come off in your pocket. So that's our product lineup. And now let's talk about the partnership. And you can see the, the co-branding logo that we, that we use. And um, you know, that's going to be part of every order that is ordered by uh, Alberta hockey members, uh, uh, member associations. So if you go into Source for Sports, you won't see this co-branded logo. You also won't get the same pricing deal uh, as we have through our partnership here. Uh, but that is, uh, that's the co-branded logo. There's, there's obviously room on the board for your own association logo or your coach's uh, name or your team logo, whatever uh, you might want. Um, but that is, uh, that's part of the partnership is that co-branding logo. You still get the full customization. Uh, preferential pricing for partners uh, here is, uh, you get as darn close to wholesale pricing as, as uh, I can sell them to you without infringing on some of our other uh, sales agreements with some uh, name brand chains. So uh, uh, for the sake of argument, we'll call it uh, uh, pennies north of, uh, of wholesale pricing. There is no minimum volume. If you want to try it out with just uh, one of our Coachmate products, uh, just get in contact me uh, through the website. And, um, uh, you know, we will, we will honor that, that pricing. Uh, and, you know, we're fortunate here in Alberta uh, because we're, we're located in Alberta. We have partnerships with other uh, provincial associations. Um, and, and, of course, Hockey Canada is one of our longstanding partners. Uh, but here in Alberta, we, um, we tend to focus on, uh, on the local market uh, first. So, Give us a ring, send us an email, and um, we'd be happy to, to, to fill your order. When you do order, uh, there's a couple of things we're going to ask you. We're going to ask you for your artwork. Uh, so if you could send that to us, sales at coachmate.com, uh, in a vectorized format, uh, then we can convert it uh, up into our Illustrator program uh, and put it on the board. Uh, if you ask for a proof, we'd be happy to send you a proof uh, via PDF proof via email so you know exactly what the board is going to look like. 
uh, before you get it. And uh, a lot of our orders don't require that. They've seen our products before, uh, but certainly something that we're, that we're happy to do. Uh, so with that, that concludes uh, my time tonight. I just want to say thanks for everybody for uh, signing on and, uh, and dialing in. And, and thanks to RC and the rest of the Hockey Alberta team. We're looking forward to uh, strengthening the uh, partnership that we've had for a few years now. So that's all that I have. Thanks very much. Thanks, Todd. Hey, just a quick question. Uh, to get the preferred pricing, do they have to tell you when they order or how does that work? Or is it on the website that you're you're a partner of Hockey Alberta or how does that work? Uh, no, just, uh, just when you send it in, uh, let us know that you're uh, a member of Hockey Alberta. And, um, you know, that's what we've done with other associations. And, um, you know, we may confirm some information, but uh, that's the easiest way. Okay, yeah. great. Thanks. Thank you. Okay, Drew, you're up. He's going to be presenting for Joe Quinn for PEP. Thanks, Darcy. Um, yeah, obviously, I think most of your lots would uh, would recognize me from many of the other Zoom calls we've had over the last little while. And uh, well, I'm certainly not representing PEP here tonight, uh, filling in for Joe and, and likely Justin Fessick, our senior manager um, development that uh, that has worked very hard to secure this and um, included many of our camps and uh, in partner agreements. So I'll keep this short. Um, this is a, an agreement or partnership that we've had for a number of years now, uh, something from a player development standpoint that, uh, that we believe in. Um, as staff, we've went through training. We've done a, a number of training sessions ourselves for, uh, for our volunteers and those that work in our camps. But um, just want to take a, a few minutes to kind of go through the, the, the polls notes of what that is. And then if there is, uh, you know, certainly any questions or details, um, we, would, we would obviously encourage you to work directly with Joe or um, Justin in our office who leads some of that. So uh, Power Edge Pro, um, the, the name that you see there, the face that uh, you see, obviously the, the poster child of not only the NHL, uh, the Edmonton Oilers, but also Power Edge Pro, uh, Connor McDavid growing up. Uh, spent time in Ontario training under this system uh, that has since grown to uh, an in internationally renowned uh, training system that, uh, that really focuses on overloading uh, your motor system. And there's a few different slides here that as I go through, um, you know, I'll, I'll kind of hit on some of those things quickly, but then we'll really want to focus in on what that could look like for your association if it's something that you're interested in. Uh, what that pricing structure looks like and, and how you can potentially go about incorporating that um, without a potential um, you know, significant hit to the, the players themselves. So uh, develop high response time, uh, faster decision time, quick movements and speed, uh, become a multitasker. Uh, you see it out there, you know, most, most drinks, we, we've got our pylons or we might have, um, you know, different training tools. Uh, Power Edge Pro is, is a lot more than, you know, a goofy looking pile on. It's something that is, uh, comes with uh, the material to help support the coaches with, um, but also really something that forces players to make decisions and attack different angles that they're, that they're not always used to and that replicate more game-like situations. So as I said earlier, it's overloading motor skills, um, developing low stride to high, high crossover ratio, when you watch the game now, uh, and, and one of the things that Joe showed us in our training was when you watch the top end skaters, uh, the number of straight line strides that they actually take compared to when they're at, when they're fully crossing over is, is something that was, um, I guess, a real eye open. And, and you can see in this picture, uh, being able to handle a puck while jumping over or around certain implements is something that we just don't get in a, in a normal practice. Um, so it's replicating some of those game-like scenarios uh, with certain implements on the ice, which we'll get into a little bit. Um, the teaching aspects are just, uh, you know, around better acceleration out of turns, um, elite change of directions with, within high traffic. We know and we've seen it the, the, with the changes at the lower levels. Um, there is very, very limited time and space to make decisions to handle a puck, uh, to know where you want to go with it or to protect the puck. Um, the training system set in place through PowerEdge Pro certainly help with that. 
Um, as part of the deal, uh, or part of signing on as a Power Edge Pro Association, you do get a pack of um, training gear or patent training gear. So that comes with 12 large, large pep trainers. That would be the one that you see there uh, with the stick on the end. Uh, six small pep trainers, uh, 20 of the sticks. So those can be placed on, on either end of the, the, um, the, the pep gear uh, at different angles, which allow you to set up different formations. Um, different attack angles, um, set them in you know different increments, which allows players to have more or less time to react on the ice, depending on you know potential skill level. Um, and then a, a 44 inch uh, portable wheel bag. So with each um, agreement, you get one one set of gear. Uh, obviously, as as the the size of your association increases and the the number of players increase. Um, that can be negotiated as well on how many how many sets of gear you may need, may or may not need. So this one here, I I know the numbers kind of hit you right in the face right off the bat, and they can seem like pretty large numbers in terms of an association agreement. Um, I would say right off the bat, and it, it sounds like many of our partners on the call today have shared similar sentiments where uh, they want to work with our associations. Um, Pep has definitely shown that in the past. Uh, this is a starting point of, of discussions if there are interested associations. Um, but really what you can look at is, you know, if this is for a smaller association up to 250 players, um, that could be as, as low as $40 a player. To get that gear, uh, with that comes a training session with certified PEP instructors. Um, all of our regional center staff um, and, and an additional internal staff have been trained as well um, to support those associations if need be. Uh, throughout the year and really get get the coaches up to speed um, that's one thing we know is you know coaches are craving information they're looking for new things um, they're looking for the support in, in how to keep practices and, and entertaining and, and also challenge their players um, we've seen it in the in the sessions that we've delivered and the pep camps we've delivered directly as hockey alberta um, the kids are moving they're engaged and you know it's it's one of those things they see themselves or they see uh, the instructor do something over a over a pep gear or around it, and and they want to keep trying until they until they get that down. And you know it, it just keeps keeps drills fun, keeps them engaged, uh, makes them react and think much quicker than traditional gear. Um, and you know really with that, I I think there's a couple other areas that um, as we look here per association, I know there's some that have done this in the past is there are fees that come with, you know, any of the products that we've talked about today, but there are some very, uh, you know, creative members that have found ways, whether it's through, you know, a preseason pep camp where um, the instructor comes out, as, you know, assigned through Power Edge Pro, um, and maybe you offer something for your members as a start of the season camp. Uh, we know families are craving that that time of year to get on the ice. So there's an opportunity to make some funds that way and, and hopefully pay for the agreement. Um, another area that I think was touched on earlier with the, with the shooter tutor is a sponsorship deal. There could be those in your community that, you know, are looking to potentially sponsor teams or sponsor program. Uh, this is one that we've seen a couple associations take advantage of and, uh, work with a local, uh, business to provide, uh, the, the power edge pro agreement, uh, funding. And that was in the form of a sponsorship. So, and then obviously the third one is, as we've seen with some of those other dollars is just a, a player development levy. Um, looking at, you know, the potential funds that your association may be looking to um, invest or, or provide back into your players and coaches. Uh, this is definitely a good way to do that. So it's one that uh, obviously not all, co all coaches are going to be, you know, comfortable delivering. Um, but that's why the, the training piece is, you know, absolutely crucial with it as well, which at Hockey Alberta, we're committing to uh, provide that support if need be. And uh, definitely through Power Edge Pro as well. So I know fairly quick overview. Um, I think it's one that we've probably presented a, a number of times more. So I just wanted to remind and, and keep it at the forefront. Is it something we believe in and uh, believe in as partners as, um, as a player development tool and program. So you can see a number of the other ones as that as well there that, uh, that they work with um, and, and run a, a number of pro camp, pro camps, excuse me, throughout Canada during the, the spring and summer with, uh, with a bunch of NHLers. So, um, and, and a number of our, uh, 
our, our Team Alberta program players and alumni as well. So any questions probably best suited to, um, you know, either start directly with, uh, with Joe Quinn himself um, or with Justin Fessick in our office. If you have any questions uh, just on the, the agreement or potential um, for agreement um, as well. So I think that's all I've got fairly quick, but thanks, Darcy. Thanks, Drew. Okay, our last presenter for tonight is Matt Beers, and he's from Vera Burn Medical Supply. Everybody, thanks for having me this evening. Thanks for the intro, Darcy. I'm Matt Veers, president of Veerburn Medical, as Darcy said. Uh, we are a Calgary owned and operated company, uh, been in business since 1979. And we are uh, essentially a distributor and manufacturer of uh, sports medicine, first aid and emergency medical products. So in our Hockey Alberta partnership, uh, we are the official medical and sports medicine supply partner. Uh, which gives all of the members uh, access to um, wholesale pricing through Vera Burn and the ability to um, order through our website with those wholesale discount prices. Uh, we also offer a uh, rebate program to Hockey Alberta based on their members' annual spend as a little bit of an added incentive. Um, so Vera Burn uh, started in 79 here in Calgary by my dad. It's also a family business. Uh, I've been in the business over 15 years now. Um, he's ridden off into the sunset, but, uh, you know, we really try to focus a lot of our energy on the sports medicine sector and we only sell into Canada. Um, so we've got a lot of uh, great partnerships at all levels, including Hockey Alberta, which is a new one for us, but we've been long-term partners with CCAA and U Sports in Canada. Uh, we've done major events as well from the World Juniors this past year. We did the Canada Games in Red Deer for all of their medical and uh, sports medicine products. And we've, uh, we've basically uh, put together, we've got the ability to put together all sorts of kits for, um, for teams of all, all sizes and uh, skill levels. So um, I wanna share my screen here with you guys um, on some kits that we put together. Uh, it, it, it was kind of a, a weird start to our partnership as everybody has been dealing with COVID and trying to return to sport. Um, so these kits here, we've designed three um, very affordable kits for the associations. Um, they start with a basic first aid kit. Um, we also do a coach kit. So those are the two uh, more basic kits. And then we have a deluxe first aid kit for the more uh, intermediate to advanced teams. Um, it's got a lot of your basic contents in it, along with some um, of our athletic tapes and everything you would need to have a well-stocked kit to treat your players on the bench. Um, another thing that uh, we specialize in is uh, we, we do the um, AEDs and first aid products. So I know that's a big um, topic of conversation among, among teams is, you know, ensuring that not only the players, but the coaches, the fans are all safe and they've got accessibility um, to these basic supplies, which can be life-saving. Uh, so we've uh, got our website at veerburn.com. Um, so I just wanted to show you guys the website here. This is our new site. Um, we highly recommend to create an account so you can go to the sign up page here on our homepage. Um, fill in your team information and then just be sure to include Hockey Alberta with um, anything that has an asterisk on it you need to fill in here. But once you create an account on our website, um, our customer service team will get to it uh, and switch your price level over to reflect the wholesale discounts. When you're logged in, um, you can see what your discounts are, know what you're paying. Um, there's much more product information. And we, uh, we really try to utilize our website as the most current uh, available information becomes available in pricing, et cetera. So uh, we make it nice and easy to order from us. Uh, we've got a great customer service team. We're not a large company, but uh, everybody pulls their weight. And, uh, you know, we, we, uh, we're well represented in Canada, especially out west here in, in Alberta. Um, we generally process our orders within 24 hours and we ship daily all across Alberta. So any, any even the furthest corners, you know, it's not going to take more than one to three business days for you to get supplies. So, um, you know, I wanted to uh, touch base on the website here. And like I said, we also have um, a variety of different medical bags and cases available. Um, you can see here in the sports medicine side, there's a ton of uh, options. If you go to the top here, there's categorized 
um, different different sections on the site, so you can really get an idea, um, you know, of, of the depth of the products that we offer. Um, we also do a lot of um, private labeling of products, so we've got our own line of athletic tapes and uh, and some of the first aid products, which are extremely cost effective for organizations. So, um, you know, we we do uh, you know tend to be very competitive and we do stand by our products and we also offer all of the major name brands such as Renfrew, Kramer, Mueller, all of the supplies that you might be uh, used to. So, um, you know, the, the uh, PPE is another big thing as well, uh, you know, in return to sport and protecting your team and, you know, just ensuring um, sanitary conditions with COVID-19 being so prevalent for the last year and a half. So um, we do have uh, a lot of uh, PPE options, including gloves, masks, face shields, uh, all sorts of cleansers and disinfectants and hand sanitizers available. And the nice thing about uh, what we do is that everything we sell is medical grade or considered medical grade. Um, so, you know, with, with your masks and gloves and all that PPE, um, it's going to be, you know, ensure that you're getting a good quality and we are, and, and again, saving a few dollars versus some of the other products out there ensuring the safety of of your members. So um, I'm not going to take a ton of time up on this. Um, you know, basically, we've got, uh, you know, the website, our customer service team, info at veerburn.com is uh, our customer service email, we've got a toll free phone number uh, here that, uh, that you can see and, and get a hold of us. We're open Monday through Friday. And, uh, you know, we'd love to continue getting support from our Hockey Alberta members and in the in the local uh, Alberta sector here. So I appreciate everybody showing up tonight. And, um, you know, if there's any questions, by all means, uh, feel free to um, shoot me an email or give me a phone call. I'll drop uh, my my contact information in the chat box. And we look forward to uh, meeting some more of you and uh, welcome you back to sport. And hopefully it stays around uh, for the foreseeable future. Any questions at all, then you can let me know. And if not, I uh, appreciate the time. Thank you, Darcy, for arranging this. And thanks, everybody, for attending. Great. Thanks, Matt. Any questions from anybody? I think we're, um, I, like I said before, I'll follow up with the document with all the information from tonight's presenters. Plus, I have some other um, ones that I'm going to send out on the document as well. So I'll make sure that all the contact information is correct and their information for their websites as well. So if there's no questions, um, I guess just thanks everybody for showing up for tonight and thanks to our presenters for presenting. This is the first time we've had an information session like this uh, for our members. And if you guys have any ideas for further, like some for in the future for information sessions, please feel free to reach out to us. Uh, we're always happy to help you guys. And that's about it for tonight, I think. We're not too bad on time. We're about two minutes over. So we're doing pretty good. Thanks, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Hope to hear from you soon. Thanks again, Darcy, for putting this together. It was great. That's true. Well, thank you. You guys did the, most of the work, so <laughs> it was pretty easy on my end. I just had to find you. <laughs> and and but, thanks, Courtney, for keeping us uh, able to share stuff. <laughs> yeah, she was a great help to me tonight for a few things. So, yeah, it was awesome. Thanks again, you guys. Thanks, guys. We'll talk to you soon. All right. Bye-bye. Take care.